Alright, what's up, man? It's your boy Big Crit, third core representative, Mississippi Native, Cinematic Music Group is going down. Hip hop at lunch, shout it. This is Hip Hop at Lunch. We're here with Big Crit. How's it going, man? man? What it is, man. Glad to be here up top. Just finished the album. It's coming out today. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, it's going down. That's what's up. Congratulations on the album. I know a lot of people were waiting to man, hear it, man. Appreciate it, man. It's a blessing. Glad to be here. Motherfucking like five years in the making. You know what I'm saying? Been doing this shit since 2005. Hardcore in the streets, and I found them on that platform where people get to hear the music. So yeah, so I so, wanted to ask you about that because I know you've been doing it for a minute, but like nationwide, you're still an emerging artist. And I wanted to say, like, coming with the uh, album right now, like, yeah. what's your goal behind that? When a lot of people are doing mixtape heavy stuff right now, man, just to really kind of like as far as brand and the fact that I am a producer too, I make all my own beats, you know, and uh, I'm from Mississippi where we don't really have a set sound, so to kind of shed light on my state and the fact that, you know, as far as Southern Hip Hop, which I'm a big fan of in the golden era, you know what I'm saying, kind of bring that feel back and that vibe back to music when it was soulful and it was real passionate, you know, and, and that's, that's kind of what I plan on doing with this album. You know, I didn't really want to rap on other, you know, other folks' beats, you know what I'm saying, I feel like, well, damn, I can just produce the whole thing myself <laughs> and really just rock out and it'd be all the emotion, like uh, getting to see the, the stepping stones of my music, if you have heard the other CDs I dropped, from five years ago, then you, you when you hear this, you be like, oh, I can hear the growth in the music and me finding finding myself as an artist and shit. Definitely. Yeah. And I, you mentioned like being a producer and everything. I wanted to ask you like about the stuff that's getting a lot of play on the radio today. Like, I just wanted to know like your basic thoughts on it, like what you're bringing that's gonna help I or mean, different. You know, I'm gonna bring that soul to it, man. Like, like live instrumentation is a big part of, of, of what I want to bring back. Like them them live bass lines and the acoustic. Um, dynamic is important to me as well. Like, you know, heat like punch, like the beat really punching you and then kind of cooling down and mellowing out and then it come back driving and um, not really playing so tough into the 808. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. really, you know, bringing music back into it. Like, I'm a, I'm a big fan of, of 60s and 70s music, soul and shit. So, like all that, I want to bring that feel back. You feel me? Well, it definitely sounds good, man. Yeah. Every video you've been releasing has some dope, yeah, dope music with definitely. it, for sure. So people have been comparing you to Pimp C, like, with the uh, <laughs> production skills and just with your voice and your flow, man, especially country shit. Yeah. I wanted to ask, like, how does that make you feel being compared man, to a legend like that? that shit is, like, amazing. Like, especially being from where I'm from and being a fan and a scholar and a student of UGK music. Like, in general, it's like, you know, that's definitely a great and a, a place in history where it's, it's only one, yeah. you know. But at the same time, it's like Pimp put a lot of feeling into his music and he didn't give a fuck what, what you thought, you know, he said what he meant, you know what I'm saying? And so, at the same time, I want to bring that same feel, like, I'm going to say it, that's what I mean, and that's just how it is, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Fuck how you feel, man. Fuck how you feel already, already. <laughs> so, so, would you, like, want to work with Bun B real close man, for a while, what? too? Man, <laughs> oh, Like, no doubt. That'd like, be to sick, be able man. to produce and just creatively come up with that, that, that type of music and that sound with him and the feature him on the record would be amazing to me. Definitely a legend. I got the opportunity to have Devin on the record, which is a fucking legend. I feel like I, I jumped so many goddamn stones to get a legend on that shit. It's like... <laughs> Man, it, it's it, it definitely be a blessing to get Bun B on on a record. No yeah. doubt. Every time I hear country shit, I think of you and Bun oh, B man. tearing it up. Yeah, man. yeah, no doubt, no That's doubt. What it is. So I know you have a record label, and you're in a group yourself, the alumni. Yeah. Like, can you tell us a little bit about that. Well, Multi Records is a label I've been pushing out of Mississippi for a long time, probably when I, since I really started, you know, saying rapping and shit. Um, Big Son is a, a long time friend, my partner, really one of the uh, the people that really kind of was like, man, you got to keep doing it, you got to keep doing it, and grinding. Um, and you know, he's a he older cat. He, he also, in, you know, what I'm saying, into the golden era and understand the southern hip hop and what it used to be like. And so, like, the vibe me and him got like our voices are nothing like you know, nothing the same, but like, we get that same energy on the mic. And he, he's crazy with it. The lyrical content is stupid, you know, he next out. Okay, definitely be looking out for that. And I want to ask, like, working with Wiz and Currency, because I've been seeing you fuck around with them. <laughs> yeah. Like, what's that like, man? Man, that shit is crazy. Like, I've been seeing Currency do his thing for a minute, like, and, like, the same vibe. They don't give a fuck. We just going to do us. We're going to be fresh and fly. Like, I had the opportunity to really, um, like, peep Wiz back in, like, 05 when he was first coming out. Okay. And we were all on that kind of that new scene of a new generation of, of hip-hop and rappers that's coming out. And we had the opportunity to be in South by Southwest. You know, the Glass House, that whole record was created, and um, it's just been crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, Christian Orange, as yeah. you know. 
So you made that down there in South by Southwest? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit came out down there. You know, and it was all love, man, because when I saw Weezer, I was like, damn, man, I'm, I'm finally here, my nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And your verse killed that joint, oh, too, man. man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. That's what's up. So what should we be looking out for? The video for uh, Something's Coming, Something, right? Yeah, Something's Coming Out. Crit was here. Is is going to be my, my shit. Like, it's, it's definitely going to be that stamp for me. Out on iTunes classic. right now? Uh, Yeah, but we're going to definitely have it out in the box. It's going to be everywhere. You don't get fucked up. You're going to be able to get it everywhere. 